transphobia. It's not a phobia. You're not scared of people being their true selves. You're a poopy head. However, needle phobia is real. And that is the topic for today's video. Play the two minutes transgender topic Thursday intro. Rise and shine real lights, welcome back to another video. Today, as you already know, we're talking all about needle phobia. From my history with needle phobia, all the way to some tips that you peeps can use to be able to learn how to deal with it a little bit better. Let's put two minutes on the clock. Let's begin. My entire life, I've been scared of injections and blood tests on a whole, and it's always been something that I've really struggled with. So much so that before I even started on hormone blockers, I went through a whole year of therapy in relation to needle phobia. And over all of that time, there was one thing that was so present in relation to injections. The fear that I had in relation to needles, it didn't lessen. However, the coping mechanisms that I learned helped me get through it. So what did I learn? One, what happened in therapy? The therapy sessions that I had took place over a whole year, once a week. Over that year, we had to pinpoint at which factor I could not tolerate needles. I was completely fine with absolutely everything, all the way up to the point that I had to watch a video of someone having a blood test. That's where my phobia drew a line. Then I was offered a syringe, and it did not have a needle, it was just the cylinder, and I got to play with the pumpy, fun, preffy bit of a syringe. Then they added a wooden cocktail stick into the end of the syringe, and I had to play with that very carefully. And after a while, they removed the cocktail stick and put in an actual needle into the syringe. I was literally shaking as they handed it to me. They then filled it with water and handed me a silicon slab to be able to inject water into. And that was one of three factors that helped me get over my needle phobia. Two, internal strength. All of my association to needles prior Prior to my transition were like blood tests and virus thingy-mabobs and your general idea of injections. However, when it came to blockers, it was something that I wanted. It was something that I needed. Battling through this phobia meant my dysphoria could lessen. Free. How do I deal with it currently? As I walk into the room where I'm about to have the injections, I'm still shaking. And I've been using the same two nurses every single time for the last three years. So I trust them and they know me and I know them. Whatever the thought of injection, I always, always, always choose to lie down. And I personally choose to always look away whenever it's about to happen. I then tense my grip around any of the surrounding items, may it be a pillow or whatever. Then, at the moment of impact, I take a deep breath in and I hold that breath until it's over. And that is how I deal with my needle phobia. And sadly, that is it for today's video. But before I do go, I just want to say that yesterday I released my Discord server, so if you do have any questions in relation to today's video, head over to my Discord server, which is linked in the description, and I will be able to assist you there. But thank you ever so much for watching, and remember as always to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you peeps in the next video. Good. Bye. Bye.